Hey, it's Jill for sleepopolis.com, and today I'm going to be talking about the Dream Essential Sleep Infinity Mask. I'm guessing that it's called the Sleep Infinity because if you can see this embroidery here, it's kind of a figure eight or an infinity shape. It also kind of looks like eyes. It reminded me a little bit of Eve from Wally, if you've seen that movie. The mask is made of fleece, so it's nice and soft. And um, I think my cats have some thoughts about that fleece too. That's Jack over there, and Penny and Simon might make an appearance. I have four cats, and uh, so something like fleece, that you can see Penny's ears, uh, fleece actually gets a lot of cat hair stuck in it. So just from having this out, I haven't even laid down on my pillow yet, but the cat hair in the atmosphere is already clinging a little bit to the mask with the, the fleece fabric. So when you turn the mask over on the back, uh, there's a little bit of a glare, so I can't tell if you can see this, but a lot of uh, blackout masks have a piece of a solid piece of foam that's been cut out to fit around your eyes. This is different. It's got this sort of tube. It's filled with foam or some other sort of soft filler, uh, but it, it feels like it's all one uniform piece. And the tube starts over here and goes all the way around like that, almost like a pretzel. So it's not one piece. There's a seam, but it's uh, it still pushes the mask a bit away from your face, so it should be able to offer that blackout. The mask strap is made of Velcro. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I'm not a huge fan of Velcro for sleep masks. It gets stuck in my hair. I've had it get stuck on the upholstery behind me, and it's another place that it can get cat hair stuck to it. So that's not my favorite feature in a sleep mask, but let's put it on and see whether it's comfortable. Um, so I'm putting it on, and the first thing I'm noticing as I do this is that the Velcro strap is actually pretty long. So I had to pull it way over to get it to fit. And then there's this whole big tail of Velcro kind of hanging out on the bottom that I have to now tuck in over my ear, which isn't super comfortable. But that being said, the strap actually hits a little bit higher on the head than a lot of other sleep masks do. So it's well over my ears. It's not pushing my ears down. It's not folding my ears against the sides of my face, which is really nice. My eyes are totally open right now. Every light in my bedroom is on. The windows are open because it's a beautiful sunny day. And I can't see anything, which is pretty cool. Um, and it's not, it doesn't feel like it's sticking out too far on the sides of my face. So we'll see when I lay down my side in just a second whether I actually find that to be comfortable because a lot of masks on my small face, when they stick out too far, can really dig into the pillow and, and do funny things to your neck. So I'm going to move the camera. We're going to lay down on our sides in just a second. We'll see how that feels. I am here laying on my side. And my cats might make another appearance. I can feel them kind of moving around at my feet, but I can't see them, which is actually really cool. A lot of the other blackout masks that I've tried that have the hard outer cover, as soon as I lie down on my side, it shifts over. And with this mask, because it's soft as I'm lying down, it actually is sinking into the pillow in a pretty comfortable way. It's not moving the pillow underneath my head so that it makes my neck have to do funny contortions to, to reconfigure myself. Oh, I feel a cat coming. So uh, it's it's very comfortable. As I laid down, it did the straps that I mentioned before hit above my ears, which was nice. They did shift down a little bit over my ears, but I might not have tight, retighten the mask enough as I was moving around. So that might be just a little bit of adjustment that needs to happen on my part. It's still total blackout. I can hear my cats and I can feel one under my hand, but I don't see them. And I don't see any of the light coming in in the middle of the afternoon, which is pretty cool. So I'm very comfortable. And uh, let's go ahead and take this off. And, oh, I hear another cat. So uh, as you can see here, I'm looking carefully. It doesn't look like it smudged my eye makeup terribly. I've mentioned before in a lot of these videos that I tend to travel for work. And when I do that, I have to take a little nap on the Amtrak or the plane. But the problem is I often am going straight from the airport to whatever meeting I've got. And that means that if I'm taking a nap with a kind of more traditional blindfold style sleep mask, my eye makeup is going to be all over my face. So I know that sleeping with makeup on is not a big concern for most people, but if you're like me and you're on the go and need to be able to just catch a quick nap before you go to an important meeting, a mask like this that pushes away from your face will protect, uh, it makes a cup around your eyes, so it protects your eye makeup, which saves you a lot of time once you get on the ground. You don't have to be awkwardly reapplying your makeup in front of your colleagues. So that's pretty cool.
Uh, let's talk about a couple of pros and cons on the mask. Other than the eye makeup, which I maintain is a, a big pro for me, this is really comfortable. It's super soft. A lot of blackout masks have a, a hard cover on them that I've mentioned before, and so it doesn't bend like this, which means that when you put it on, there's going to be something sticking out from your face that isn't very flexible, and it pushes into the pillow and kind of pushes the pillow away from your head. So this one, it still pushed the pillow. It's still sticking out from your face, but it pushed it in such a way that your head kind of goes with it. So it's not twisting your neck in a weird way. I didn't have to readjust myself when I was lying down, which is really nice. I'm not used to getting a full blackout effect and also being able to sleep comfortably on my side. I think another pro for this is this soft, soft flannel. It uh, Some of those cardboard masks, if they shift around too much, they can get a little itchy and that foam on them can sometimes be a little bit itchy too. This flannel is super soft against my face. However, on the cons, when I slept with this mask all night, it did get a little warm having that flannel up against my face. So if you're somebody who gets really hot when you sleep, which I do, definitely put on a, a fan or crack a window open or turn your air conditioner on before you, you sleep with this guy because it, it will make you a little bit warm which will possibly make you sweat your uh, makeup off if that's a concern for you. Another con for this mask I've mentioned before, I will mention again, I hate Velcro straps. They get stuck in my hair. Um, I have gotten stuck to the seat of the plane behind me when I've tried to nap on a plane. It's no fun. Nobody wants any part of that. These cats that you've maybe seen kind of moving around while I've been taking this video, their hair gets stuck in the Velcro and their hair gets stuck in the fleece. I don't know if you can see this, but it's kind of gross. And I have a slight cat allergy, I have not enough to kick the four cats out of bed, but enough that I don't really want the cat hair trapped between the mask and my eye. So if you get this mask, and even if you're not allergic to cats, but you have animals around the house, you probably don't want their hair in your face, you'll want to make sure that you kind of tape roll it immediately before putting it on your face. And then don't put it back on your face after you've taken it off and the cats have been around it until you've cleaned it again. A couple of final thoughts about the Dream Essentials Infinity Sleep Mask. It's black, it's blending in with my shirt. There you go, you can see it now. I have tried several masks for this series and I have to tell you guys that the only mask that I've consistently gone back to has been this one. I'm not really much of a sleep mask person, but if I wanna sleep in a little bit in the morning or if I'm trying to take a nap in the middle of the day and it's really bright, this is the guy that I keep grabbing. It is more comfortable than any of the other blackout masks that I've tried. And the bonus is when I'm doing those daytime naps, it's not gonna screw up my makeup. So I can just hop out of bed, kind of brush the cat hair off of me, off of the mask, and uh, go on with my day feeling refreshed after my nap without feeling like I need to spend a lot of time kind of cleaning myself up. I have not retouched my makeup since I took the mask off the last time. So you can see like, it really, really doesn't smudge anything, which is great for me. I think that this mask is a little bit more pricey. It's about 30 bucks, so it's it's actually a lot more pricey than a lot of the other masks that I've tried and that you'll see reviewed in this series, but it's worth it. I really, again, I am not a sleep mask person, and the fact that I keep coming back to this mask really tells me that it's worth the price, and it's worth you guys checking out. I will have a full review up at sleepopolis.com, and I will see you soon. Until next time.